हे हाय हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस लिटिल बुक नेम लेटर्स फ्रॉम अ फादर टू हिज डॉटर ओके प्लीज डोंट माइंड द कंडीशन इट्स वेरी ओल्ड बुक फ्रॉम माय कलेक्शन एंड इट हैज टर्न डाउन टू दिस स्टेट बट स्टिल इट्स इन रीडेबल कंडीशन एनीवे दैट सेकेंडरी the book basically has a collection of letters of uh, which is being addressed by jawaharlal nehru to his daughter indra who is a child a 10 year old kid and she is staying at masuri at that point of time and jawaharlal nehru is writing these letters from the city allahabad to her so these letters basically are you know quite personal letters uh teaching indra about prehistoric times so when i say prehistoric it means uh you know very 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 old times for which we do not have any real history with us so you will get to know about the earth and its existence and then you will get to know about the time when there was no life on earth and uh, you will read how about the time how life came into earth and then about the time how only animals existed on earth and with no humans and then how humans evolved from chimpanzees and apes and then you will get to know about adaptation and evolution mechanism so that's how the book begins further on you will get to know about the old stone age uh which we call paleolithic age and then you will get to know about the neolithic age new stone age then you will learn about discovery of fire uh, then how agriculture began and then settlement and then earliest civilization all these things you will read in a sequence way and then you know you will get to know very interesting examples with respect to civilization that started in egypt and mesopotamia and then earlier civilization in india and china so the facts presented are quite interesting because uh, there is a fact with respect to great wall of china and it was very interesting for me because it i, I mean i kind of developed an interest to go and visit great wall of china after reading that fact so that was an interesting fact for me i'm not revealing it here because uh then i want you to read the book and explore that fact on your own and moving on further you will you know get to know about the concept of patriarchy and uh, about how religion came into being how kings came into power and uh, how kings were overthrown because they got this feeling that now you know they are super power and they can do anything on their own but then they were overthrown by the people you will get to know about the you know origin of language the language which we speak and many other languages the origin of dravidians and aryans and likewise all these all these you know little little uh stories you will get to know and it's very interesting and i feel that a 10 year old child must know about all this because to be true when i was 10 year old i didn't have an understanding of prehistoric times so somehow i feel that a 10 year old child must be aware of the earliest existence of the planet and the world around and then uh the book also dis- uh, discusses about you know vedas upanishad and about the epics ramayana and mahabharata and the beautiful verse bhagavad gita it doesn't go into detail but the point here is you know a seed is being uh, sown into the mind of indira gandhi about all these books about all these epics and i think a seed is very important because that seed might you know sprout further and uh, a child might get interest and go and explore about these epics and upanishad further on uh, in their journey so that's that's very important and i feel that's that's 
that's the beauty i mean these words are being introduced in the form of letters to a child to a 10 year old child so yeah i feel it's a must read book for especially for a child of course adult also can read this book because it will only add up to one's knowledge and uh, the beautiful part is that you know this the letter discusses very real life examples that you might uh, relate from day to day life so one example i would like to discuss uh, there is a letter that discuss about race and color so when i was a child you know i i was like literally degraded uh, because of you know my skin color uh, i mean in my area or i think most of the areas fair skin color is considered as a symbol of beauty and intelligence today it's it's a point of laughter for me because now i understand that there is a logic behind it because people who are countries who are near the equator they receive sunlight and the melanin pigment is uh, the reason behind black color or whitish color and the uh, people countries who are far away from the equator they receive less sunlight and that's the reason they have fair skin and there are other reasons also but we are not going into that but the logic is this but then simply because the because of lack of education people i mean i really don't understand from where this concept would have come into being but yeah people have have this that a fair skin color is just you know is just superior so i feel that any child who who is feeling this way must read this book and get the logic clear and get this inferiority complex out of her or his mind so because there are so many advertisements all around uh, promoting fair skin color like fair lovely and i don't remember the name now but yeah all these advertisements used to come when i was a child so yeah these 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 kind of examples are being presented and you will literally enjoy if if you read this book in a proper way you will get to know a lot about history a lot of real examples a lot of interesting facts and a lot of curiosity that might arise that might be a beginning of further exploration in your child i mean your child might want to further explore in this area so yeah go on read this book enjoy thank you have a nice day bye